Hello everyone, Punjabi cyclist here. Welcome to my channel. Nice to have you on board. I started this channel because I love cycling and I want to give you a bit of a story how I got into cycling and why I think you guys should consider it as an option. Now, going back to History Channel, November 2019. I was going to work, I got late by two hours due to problems on the public transport. I was thinking, why don't I get a bike? Without even thinking about the consequences of the ride of 20 miles each way, 20 miles on the way back, but I was positive, I wanted to remain positive. I said, okay, fine, instead of paying 200 pound a month on the travel card, let me get a bike. Got back to the office, spoke to my colleague. He suggested a bike, the equipment, the clothing, which I ordered the following day. So the bike was a thousand pound, the equipment was 200 pounds, the clothing was 200 pounds. So that's total 1400 pound at the door. But once at the, before the order got dispatched before the bike, I got all my clothing, my work clothes, my shoes and everything, went to the weekend to the office, dropped it off, dropped the towel off, left, it, left everything there because I don't want to be carrying a lot of stuff while I'm cycling because already I'm already overweight. So initially I thought I'm going to go on canal paths and cycle lanes. So I started with the Grand Union Canal, the Paddington Arm. While I was cycling, everything was going lovely until, until Alperton. So then uh, my steering got heavy. I said, what's wrong? What's happening with the rear wheel? Then I looked behind, it was a puncher. Fantastic, brilliant. I don't know how to change a puncher. So I thought I pushed my bike, pushed my bike to the Alperton station, to the bus station. They said layers, we're not allowing any bikes on. Pushed it to the hangar lane. Finally, the lady let me on the underground, got there, got to the local bike shop, needed new tires, a new inner tube. So I got marathon tires, another 90 quid, lovely, sorted, dropped the bike home because I was far too late to go to the office. Next day, let's go again. So I got up at five, planned my route on Google Maps. Then I got up at five, took me an hour to get ready, breakfast, all that kind of stuff. Left on Google Maps, it was saying just over two hours. I gave myself a continuous of 40 minutes because I'm, I was overweight, not fit, no stamina, nothing done other way. So I was cycling, I had to keep stopping, keep checking my phone from my jacket, okay, where I'm going wrong. I was going in circles, losing my way, getting tired, getting out of breath. Finally, I got to the office over three and a half hours. Then my cycling buddies had a high five, exciting, lovely. So I was really excited, really pleased I finally made it, thank God for that considering I've not done cycling ever 20 miles that distance ever. So I got to half five, got ready by six. On the way, I thought I'm, the way I came is the way I'm gonna go back. Now, unfortunately on the way there was a demonstration, so I had to divert. So I had to find another route on Google Maps, again going in circles again, finally got home after two and a half hours. That's a total of six hours that day. I was really tired, legs were hurting, my backside was in pain, and my beastie was being done by my missus and my, uh, my kids ripping into me, you're nuts. And so my missus goes, return the bike, get back on the public transport, layers. So I went to sleep, I said, no, I'm gonna continue because I don't believe in giving up. It's just not in my system. So I want to continue going. So now I'm committed, I continue cycling. I cycled for a, a week, after a week, my backside was fine. No issues there. One of my friends actually recommended me a bike computer, not too expensive, about 100 quid. It's the Beeline computer, which made my life much easier. So you download the app, you put the route, you put it on the handlebars. So it saved me time. So I managed to get my time down from three and a half hours to two hours in the second month because I improved my route, I improved my fitness, and I knew my ways. On the first day, it took me three and a half hours now cycling for 18 months, it takes you one hour and 20 minutes, which is fantastic. I'm so happy. I can't believe I've achieved this. Brilliant. Now going 20 miles each way, piece of cake now. From now I can even do much longer rides for leisure. I would like to share more about my cycling journey in my future videos. I will be talking about what you guys need to do to start cycling from scratch, what type of bikes you need to buy, what equipment you need as a basic, what, uh, what kind of food you need to carry, water, everything else. And also I'll be sharing with you some epic rides at some point in the future that I'll be covering. Think bike, think cycling, and think the joy of let's see afterwards. I would really appreciate your guys' feedback, comments to improve this channel. Thank you for watching. 
I'll see you next time. Lovely.